Well, assuming you're storing your data in the cloud, every time you send a text or snap a picture on your cell phone, the information is sent to a data center to be stored and processed. The digital industry is growing at an exponential rate, and the size and number of these facilities are rapidly increasing. As a result, they're putting a strain on local communities. Caitlin Burke reports. This part of Northern Virginia is known as Data Center Alley. Stretching across Loudoun and Fairfax counties, these buildings full of servers route 70% of the world's internet traffic. When you talk about something happening online or happening in the cloud, what you're talking about is something that's actually happening that's powered by a physical data center. It's actually a building. The average American household has at least 22 devices connected to the internet. They've expanded from phones and computers to smart TVs, lights, and appliances. Our digital society creates so much data that massive storage facilities like these are now needed to process and house it all. Rather than have each individual business or individual internet user have their own server uh, for their data, a data center aggregates all of our collective computing needs in one facility. And by doing so, the facility is more secure, more reliable, more efficient. While data centers provide a critical service, they also require a tremendous amount of electricity. It is not uncommon for a data center to require as much power as, let's say, 25,000 homes. Affordable and reliable power help draw these facilities to Virginia. Their predicted growth, however, is raising concern we could reach a point when utilities and even the power grid itself won't be able to keep up. Think of the last five years, basically the power demand from data centers in our service territory doubled. Um, and looking forward over the next 15 years, we projected that uh, power demand from data centers is likely to quadruple, nearly quadruple from what it is today. Dominion Power spokesman Aaron Ruby wants to assure Virginia residents plans are in place to deal with this growing need. If power demand is going to nearly double over 15 years, then that means we need to nearly double our power supply over the next 15 years, which means we need to build a significant amount of new power plants. Additionally, we need to build a significant amount of new power lines, transmission lines, distribution lines, substations, to be able to deliver nearly twice as much electricity to our customers. Ruby says Dominion's plan for the future relies on a mix of energy sources, and 95% of them will be carbon-free. That includes the country's largest offshore wind project, the second largest solar fleet, expanding battery storage, and exploring next-generation nuclear power. Only 5% of new energy will come from natural gas. Still, these major grid updates cost money, and some of Dominion's residential customers don't want to pay this industry's power bill. The truth is that if you remove the data center industry, Virginia is not experiencing this explosive kind of transmission need this need for new generation. Elena Schlossberg with the Coalition to Protect Prince William County points out that while data centers pay for their power use, taxpayers are on the hook for financing the new infrastructure. All of us, the residents, are covering the cost of these massive transmission lines. And at some point, we're gonna need to build all the generation. What is happening in Virginia is not normal. Schlossberg worries that being the data center capital of the world will eventually destroy her state. These don't belong near homes, they don't belong near national parks, and they certainly don't belong in your drinking water supply watersheds. Something has to change. For example, a lawsuit is underway against a complex plan to cross from Manassas National Battlefield Park. Dubbed the Digital Gateway, many area property owners have agreed to sell rather than live next door to such a massive industrial development. Data centers are destroying communities. They are taking too much electricity, too much fossil fuel, too much water, and too much land. And at some point, we all have to be a part of that conversation because we are sacrificing the real world for the digital world. When asked about the cost for the planned grid updates, Dominion spokesperson responded that customers' monthly power bills will only go up by 3% per year, a rate lower than historic inflation. And Ruby adds the largest cost increase isn't due to data center growth. The vast majority of those costs are due to the clean energy transition um, that we're undertaking in Virginia. Meanwhile, John Huckel with the Data Center Coalition says they're always looking for ways to be more efficient. 
So this is going to be an industry that's with us for a long time. And so data centers want to be good neighbors. They want to be engaged in the communities that they're part of. While these experts say it's easy to point the finger at the data center industry, consumers continue to drive its explosive growth. And it will only get bigger as research predicts data demand globally in 2030 will be 10 times what it was at the start of the decade. Caitlin Burke, CBN News, for Loudoun County's Data Center Alley. Well, I certainly don't see any end to the growth of data storage. And so data centers are, are frankly here to stay. When you add AI to this mix, it, it is beyond explosive. And, and this is just the world we're going to be living in uh, over the decades to come. So we need to prepare for it. Historically, the reason Northern Virginia is the data center capital of the world has more to do with the Department of Defense and the NSA. Those are both located in Washington, D.C., and demanded that kind of data growth and, and that kind of connectivity. And so that's why our major hubs for the Internet are all located in Washington, D.C. So when you see private industry come alongside that, what they're trying to do is take advantage of the high-speed networks that are already there. So is this growth going to continue? You bet.